Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations. and going to solve each system by substitution. So, I was given this system of equations. Negative 7x plus 2y equals 18, and 6x plus 6y equals 0. Well, what I want to do is get one of these variables isolated by itself. And I find it easier, actually, with the second equation. So watch this. I'm going to subtract a 6y to both sides. That leaves me with 6x equals a negative 6y. Be careful with this. Take your time. Divided by 6 to both sides gives me x by itself. And negative 6 divided by 6 is a negative 1. So we have a negative y here. And this word becomes tricky. We know that x is equal to a negative y. Okay. So we're going to go to our first equation, and we're going to plug that in. So instead of x, we're going to put a negative y in. Okay? So our first equation, let's go rewrite it right here. I'm going to bring it down now. I took a lot of space, but it's okay. Negative 7, and instead of x, I'm putting a negative y in. That's a 7. <laughs> negative y in plus 2y equals 18. All right, negative 7 times a negative y is positive 7y, right? Negative times a negative is positive, plus 2y equals 18. 7 plus 2y is 9y. I divide by 9 to both sides. That fits on the page there. And so 9, uh, 9y, and I divide by 9 to both sides, we have y equals a positive 2. Right? Just barely fit it in there. Okay, so y equals a positive 2, 18 divided by 9. So now I'm going to plug that into my other equation, or actually either one really doesn't matter, to try to get my x value. So let's go pick our second equation. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. So we have 6x plus 6y equals 0. Now you might be able to see here if y is uh, 2, plug in, we have our x value, so it should be a negative 2, but let's go see what happens. So let's plug that y equals 2 in. Okay, we have 6x plus 6 times a 2 equals 0. 6 times 2 is 12, so we have 6x plus 12 equals 0. Subtract the 12 to both sides. 6x equals a negative 12. Divide by 6 to both sides gives me x by itself is equal to negative 12 divided by 6 and negative 2, which makes sense, right? x is equal to a negative y. If x is negative 2, a negative, uh, and then that's equal to the negative y, the double negative, right? Because in 2, or not double negative, but y is 2, and the negative is out front, equals a negative 2. Either way, our coordinate point is negative 2, comma, positive 2. We combine them together, and that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given negative 7x plus 2y equals 18, and 6x plus 6y equals 0. The second equation, okay, I, I can see I get x by itself fairly uh, quickly. Subtract a 6y to both sides, divide both sides by 6, I got x is equal to a negative y. From there, all right, I plug that in, that x into my first equation, right there for that y, so the negative y goes in for the x, right? Negative 7 times negative y was a positive 7y. 7y plus 2y was a 9y. Divided by 9 to both sides uh, to the 18 gave me y equals 2. From there, plug that into my second equation again. <clears throat> 2 goes in for y. 6 times 2 is 12. Minus a 12 to both sides. Then we have 6x equals a negative 12. Divided by 6 to both sides, and I had x equals a negative 2. From right there, we have our coordinate point, our x and y value, so I wrote it right here. And so, again, the final answer here is the solution to our systems of equations using substitution is negative 2 comma positive.